Hi there, it's Ziv from Elemental. Today, I'll show you how to use Scroll Snap, a great feature that gives you control over how visitors scroll through your site and view its visual elements, so you can make sure they see exactly what you want them to, really optimizing the user experience on desktop or any other device. Let's see how it works. First off, to use this feature, make sure it's enabled in Experiments. Go to Elementor, Settings, Experiments, and check to see it's set to active. OK, so you've spent a lot of time designing and building a cool page like this, but then visitors check it out and experience it in a way you didn't really intend. Scroll Snap is the perfect solution. It enables you to stop the scroll of your page when the section reaches a defined point in the viewport. You can enable it on any page in the page settings. Click on the gear icon in the bottom left and navigate to it in the Advanced tab. Then switch it on. By default, it's set to snap at the top of a section. Let's check it out. Cool, the sections snap exactly how I want them to, pausing for the visitor before they scroll on to the next one. This example works well with full height sections. As you can see, I've set them to take up exactly 100% of the viewport's height. But scroll snap works with any type of layout. I've created a simplified version of the page, so it'll be easier to follow along and get to know all scroll snap options. As I said earlier, by default, the snap position is set to top. Let's set it to center and see how it behaves. The sections appear exactly in the middle of the viewport, each time visitors scroll. Next, let's set the snap position to bottom and check it out again. Now the sections snap exactly at the bottom. Cool. To demonstrate scroll padding, I've gone ahead and created this page over here with a sticky header. The sections snap at the top, but the header hides part of the content. Scroll padding enables you to offset the section from the position above. I'll set it to 110 pixels, so it accommodates the sticky header. Much better. Last but not least, let's check out Scroll Snap Stop. By default, it's set to normal. And when visitors scroll down and up your page, sections will snap according to where they scroll to, meaning it won't necessarily stop at each section. Setting it to always though, forces the browser to snap all the time, even if the scroll would normally go past it, enabling you to guide your visitors when they view your site. And the really cool thing is that all these settings are mobile responsive, meaning you can optimize them on desktop or any other device. Simply adjust it to accommodate the design. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use Scroll Snap and use it to make your visitors see exactly what you want them to, really optimizing the user experience. As always, have fun creating and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now!